Okay, students. So, see this question from CSIR Net. Okay, uh, who's answered it recently? Yeah? So, in this time, they asked question from Tristar. Okay, so they have connected to two Tristars, and they have given beta one and beta two for Tristar, which is equal to twenty. Okay, so and they are asking what is the BCC? Okay, in this point. Okay, what is the value of BCC? So this is a very straightforward question. Okay, so what we we need to apply uh, KVL. Okay, so you apply KVL in this loop. Okay, in this first loop, and calculate what is the current flowing IV one. Okay, once you know the current flowing IV one, okay, you can calculate what is IC one. Okay, because you know the beta here. Similarly, once you know the IV one, you can know. What is the arbitrary current of this this connector? That is beta one plus uh, beta one plus I B one. Okay, and once you know the I E of this first connector, we know the I B of this connector. Okay, and once you know the I B of this connector, okay, we know the what is the I E two of this connector. Okay, that will be. Okay, so once you know this, we you know this current. Okay, so once you know this I B two. Okay, we also know I C. Okay, so once I know I C one. And I C two, I immediately know what is I. Okay, and once I calculate I, I can calculate what is the voltage drop here. So remaining, so V C C is here. I can I can know the what is the I. I is nothing, which is I C one plus I C two. Okay, so I know what is the drop here. So I can calculate what is the V C C here. I hope uh, understood the question. Okay, and and, and why is it again? We need to calculate V C C here. Okay, so in order to calculate V C here, V C V C here. Okay. So I need to calculate what is the current in this resistor. Okay. So once I know the current in the resistor, I know VCC. So so VCC minus drop in this voltage will give you VCC. Okay. So I need to calculate IC one, IC two. Okay. In order to know IC one, I should know what is IC one. In order to know IC two, I should I should know what is IC two. Okay. So ah, uh, so we need to apply uh, KVL in this uh, first circuit. Okay. So once I apply KVL, okay. So we have given VCC here. Okay. So twenty two twenty kilo ohm two two IV one. This voltage drop is zero point seven. Here voltage drop is zero point seven. Okay, and this will be what this I E one. Okay, so this is equal to I V two. So once I apply the current flowing in this resistor, okay, will be basically uh, uh, beta one plus beta one beta one plus into beta two beta two plus one into I V one. Okay, because this I V is what this this I V two is what beta one plus I V one. Okay. And beta two plus one will be I E. So I have calculated uh, first the current I E one. Okay. So I E one value is coming two twenty point two seven microampere. Once I know I E one, I can calculate what is the value of I C one. Okay. And once I know this I E one, I also know the I E two. Okay. So I E two value is four sixty one point six seven six seven microampere. I know I V two, so I can calculate I C I C two, okay, which is nothing, which is beta two into I V two, okay. So this comes out nine point three five three milliampere. Now I know I C one also, I know I C two also, so total current I E is now nine point seven nine eight milliampere. And once I multiply by this one kilo ohm, okay, this will give me nine point seven nine eight voltages. So total voltage is twelve minus nine point seven nine eight. You will get answer. You will answer two point two zero volts, okay. And just given an answer, I think ninety, which is also correct answer. They given the answer two point two volt. Okay, so this is a two this two two point two volt. Okay, so this is the uh, correct answer. Okay, I hope you understand the question. Thank you very much.